What's going on guys? So I want to do something a little bit more different, a little bit more fun, and I figured, you know, I'm a big fan of jerseys, obviously as you can tell, I like collecting jerseys, I like seeing which ones are cool and unique, I love whenever a team puts out an alternate jersey, and when I heard the NHL was doing another reverse retro round, I was super excited, especially when they announced they were going to be doing new jerseys. And uh, I, I liked a, a, good, a good amount of the ones we saw last time, I did think a few were a little bit bland, but... I figured I want to give my thoughts on the new reverse retros, and I'm going to compare them to the previous iterations and see which ones I think are better. Now, with that said, I know it's a little bit weird. Yeah, who better to criticize, you know, looks and fashion rather than a guy who wears jerseys, sweatpants, and sits in his basement all day? Who better to criticize uh, jersey looks? But I do like a lot of jersey designs, so I figured uh, let's get into some of these designs. I'm a big fan of a lot of these new ones that came out. So. Let's just jump into it. We're gonna start with the Anaheim Ducks. Now, I really like the new design. Uh, I'm a huge fan of the logo. I will always be a huge fan of that uh, Mighty Duck logo, and I hope at some point it becomes their main logo again because the modern weird duck foot thing that they got for the D logo is, in my opinion, it's ugly, it's stupid. I really do not like it. I hope this becomes their new jersey at some point. Uh, I do like this design. I think the colors mesh well with the new logo compared to the last one they did Which was the throwback to the Wild Wing jersey that had you know the colors from the old uh, Mighty Ducks jerseys and I thought that one looked alright um, It's tough. I am gonna lean a little bit more with the Mighty Wing jersey simply because I Really do like that kind of cool design. I know it's a little busy You know the center with the duck kind of popping out of the crest, but I really like that design I thought it was really creative these ones are still extremely solid, and so I'm going to just go with that. Also, if you don't know, I did give my grade out of brief thoughts for a lot of these on my Twitter. Uh, you can go check that out. Uh, I'll have the link in the description. Uh, I did think I'll, uh, I, I'm, my grades are going to be kind of the same, and I gave a good chunk of these pretty rave reviews. So, obviously, if you want to see that, go check out my Twitter. These are more expanded thoughts of what my grades were, just, you know, Basic designs. Anyways, on to the Coyotes. Now the Coyotes just did another variation of the purple de desert design that they did with the last reverse retro round. I think this color meshes so beautifully well with uh, the desert design. I love that background. I know that logo could be a little off-putting for some, but I think it fits well here. I love that desert design. The purple does look very nice though. For me, they're kind of on par. Um, obviously I think it's a 9 out of 10 jersey. I think this is a beautifully, beautifully designed jersey. Uh, so I think that it, uh, honestly I have nothing most to say. This is such a great jersey. I do think this one's a little bit better just because I think that little orange brownish color does fit well with the desert design. So I'm going to go with that one. Very well done Coyotes. Now the Boston Bruins. Uh, going back to now the Pooh Bear jersey as their, their fans are calling it. And I like it. I think I give it a 10 out of 10 on my Twitter, and I think it's a 10 out of 10 jersey here. I like the design. I think the cool striping is a nice look. I do like that they're going with an actual bear for the logo, given that they are the Bruins. Uh, compared to the last one they did, which is this big bright yellow thing. And I actually liked the big yellow jersey, but I'm going to go with this one over the yellow jersey, simply because I think this jersey is better designed. I love the bear logo. I gave it a 10 out of 10, and I mean it. The only complaint that I have is that the bear logo that they chose for the crest looks way too much like something you would see on like your grandma's throw pillow or rug or little fleece blanket, one of those you know knitted bear designs. Uh, other than that, 10 out of 10 jersey, love it. Now the Buffalo Sabres, and man I fell in love with this jersey, I think this is an incredibly well made jersey. Um, I love the design, I love the look, uh, the goat head was something obviously that fans are clamoring for. Compared to the last one they did, I think they're about dead even. I think that last jersey is a 10 out of 10, I think the new one's a 10 out of 10. This is a beautifully well made jersey. Uh, well done Buffalo Sabres. Um, I was expecting to see if they would maybe do more of that black and red throwback, see if they maybe do something akin to that, but the blue and the yellow just look so beautiful in that white jersey that honestly, stick with it, it's great. Calgary Flames. Uh, I've seen some people say they hate this jersey, some people say they love it. I love the new jersey for the Calgary Flames. It looks beautiful. Um, I know that weird stripe near the stomach can be a little distracting. Personally, I think the design is fantastic. I like that white C logo. I think obviously keeping with that black backdrop looks great. I love the striping. 
uh, especially the pattern that they chose for it. Compared to the Blast teachers they did, which was the horse, um, <laughs> I am going to lean more toward Blasty. I gave Blasty an 8 out of 10, and I give the Flames new one a 10 out of 10, because I think the Blasty one was super creative and super fun. I loved the Blast teachers, and I'd like to see it come back in some capacity. I was honestly hoping they would do a white version of the Blasty jersey, just because I want to see how that look. But this, not a bad choice. Well done, Flames. Carolina Hurricanes. Um, okay. The design of the jersey itself is not that bad. Um, I do like the red uh, color aesthetic. I'm not. I, I'm okay with the Canes thing. The problem is, and I know some people point out that the flag thing is, you know, the reverse right show. It literally just looks like the red version of their white jersey. Uh, like this is their white road jersey. This looks like just a red version. This looks like an alternate jersey, not really a reverse retro. Now I understand compared to the last one they did, they didn't just want to do another Hartford Whaler jersey. Uh, I'm totally fine with that. If you didn't want to just do another Whaler jersey, maybe a Whaler jersey with hurricane colors or a hurricane jersey with Hartford colors, I completely understand that. You didn't want to just do that. They already have that and they have Whaler's Night where a few times a year they will wear the Hartford Whaler jerseys at home, they'll blare br Brass Bonanza whenever they score, all that. So I get it, but this just it, it feels like it's just an alternate. I get that in terms of the Carolina Hurricanes, their jerseys have looked relatively the same for most of their existence. They've had the same logo and their color scheme's never been different. I just feel like they could have done more here. Um, I totally get it. Um, I gave it a five out of 10 just because Nothing's really unique about it. If they make this an alternate jersey, that's a home run. As a third jersey, this is a home run. I love it. I personally think that this should be the red jersey they wear. Make the black jersey your new home jersey. You wear it during the playoffs anyway. And make this new red reverse retro your third jersey. But as a reverse retro, seems pretty lazy to me. On to the next one. The Blackhawks. Down to the first one I, I kind of hate. I do not understand what's aesthetically appealing about this design. Uh, I, I don't. Um, I don't like this striping. The striping looks pretty ugly. I'm not a fan of just flat out Chicago on front. I'm not a huge... I'm not against text jerseys, but I want the text to be incorporated in a unique way. Like just doing diagonal stuff, like I, I just commented how I, I'm fine with the Hurricanes one. But this just feels a little lazy to me. I'm not. I'm not okay with it. Compared to the last one they did, which was actually all right. I actually like the last Blackhawks uh, designed reverse retro jersey. But this just feels. I don't know. Pretty bland. I gave it a four out of ten. I thought it was pretty bad. Next, the Colorado Avalanche. Now, some of you might expect some Colorado bias. And yeah, there's a bit. I really do like this design. I know some fans are split, some like it, some don't. Now to those who don't, I understand it, but I really do like the design. Um, I get some people wanted more of like, I don't know if they wanted this bright a blue, but a lighter blue compared to the really dark navy that they went with. And I get that it's just essentially the Colorado State flag. There were a lot of rumors throwing that they were gonna do, you know, uh, Colorado Rockies. Uh, which is that brighter blue that looks more like the state flag, like the old Rockies team before they moved to New Jersey. I get that, but uh, I also understand like people are like, well, that's devil's history. Avalanche shouldn't touch it. And I'm like, fair enough. I mean, the Avs milk the Nordique stuff like crazy, even though we no longer play in Quebec. Um, so I'm fine with this jersey. I actually really like it. I've already pre-ordered it simply because I already missed out on the Nordiques jersey and I'm not missing out on this one. Uh, speaking of the Nordique jersey, uh, compared to the last one, and I get it, for a lot of Avs fans, uh, that Nordique jersey set the bar super high and I get it. That Nordique jersey was absolutely phenomenal. That reverse retro was so well done and I am pissed that I never got my hands on one. I still can't. I still can't get my hands on a Nordique's reverse retro and I refuse to buy knockoff jerseys. That is like an ultimate pet peeve of mine. I will never buy fake jerseys. Even if nobody else knows that it's fake, I know that it's fake and that's enough for me. Um, I really like these reverse retros. I gave them an eight out of 10. Uh, as for these ones, um, I I'm sorry. They're still uh, the best ones. I'm going with the Nordic jersey, but I really do like the new Avs reverse retros. On to the next one. Columbus Blue Jackets. Um, I actually really like this idea, you know, going full with the name Blue Jacket. Um, the crest was an odd choice, just going with their normal logo. 
I personally would have preferred that they go with the Canon logo. I think the Canon logo would have looked fantastic on this jersey. Um, I like that dark and light blue clash. I think it works well compared to the last one they did, which was the red jersey, and I really liked that jersey. Um, I gave this one an 8 out of 10. I'm going to give the red one a 9 out of 10. I think the red is a little bit better just because I like the better creativity. I think, honestly, if you were to like take the jersey, the logo that they use for this jersey, put that on the red jersey, it'd work a lot better and put the cannon on this jersey you have two 10 out of 10s home run one of the best of the reverse retros but personally i'm gonna go with the older one over the newer one but i do like this new design dallas stars um i actually i, I like this one i think it's a decent design i like the fact that they're just going with the big giant star crest uh, i think the black and the green mesh well a little hint of the rave stuff in there i i really appreciate that um, compared to the last one they did, which was kind of like a white ice-ish type version of their jersey, I think this one's personally better. I gave that white one, gave that one like a 6 out of 10. I like white ice jerseys when it comes to hockey. I'm a fan of that, personally. I did think the design was a little bland, though. This one, I do like that they are sticking with that old crest. Some people were expecting, you know, the alternate logo that they use for the uh, rave jersey, the big state of Texas um, design with, the, with their current logo in the bottom right. But I like this jersey. Give it a 7 out of 10. Decent design. Detroit Red Wings. Um, I gave this one a 4 out of 10 on my Twitter. I'm lowering it. 3 out of 10. It's literally the exact same thing as Chicago. I'm not saying they copy each other, but it looks like it. I'm sorry. I do not understand what is appealing about this design. Are you raved about it in Chicago? Their last reverse retros weren't that good either. It was literally just the white jersey with a silver stripe. I don't understand it. Maybe Detroit fans like that more than I do, but I hate both of these designs. 3 out of 10. It sucks. It's easily the worst one. On to the next. The Edmonton Oilers. Um, so I'm glad they didn't just do another 80s jersey. Uh, they went with the drill bit mixed with, that, uh, with their navy and more dark, uh, bright orange colors. I like it, actually. I think it looks really nice. I love this design. Um, as compared to the 80s one they did, which was now their white jersey. Now, some people argue that should be their road jersey now because they've gone back to the old 80s look. I personally think this jersey is pretty good. I like the design. I do think the 80s one is better. I'm always a sucker for that kind of stuff. But in terms of the new one, 9 out of 10. I think it's a really well-made jersey. On to the next. Now, my personal favorite, the Florida Panthers. So well done. I love everything about this jersey. If you wanted something that perfectly captures Florida vibes, you get it with this reverse retro jersey. It's so well made. Uh, and the last one they made was pretty good too. I liked that old, you know, Panther logo, but I'm gonna go with this one. This one looks so good and I hope they introduce it as some kind of alternate. I'm hoping one day for a Miami Vice jersey because I think the Panthers could really do something nice with that. But until then, this looks absolutely wonderful and it's my personal favorite. Well done. 10 out of 10. LA Kings. Um, so this looks like just honestly a white version of the purple reverse retro they did last time. And I thought the purple reverse retro was one of the best ones alongside of the Nordiques. So why would I give this jersey any less a great 10 out of 10? I love that white purple clash. Um, I was wondering if they do purple and black, you know, kind of what they wore in the uh, late 2000s, early 2010s, but I get it. This is what fans want. This appeals to them. So I get it. Still fa fabulous jersey. 10 out of 10. The Minnesota Wild. Again, just feels like the green version of the last reverse retro they did, which was the North Stars throwback. But considering how well the North Stars meshes with their current look, I thought this, I thought the green jersey was a knockout. I thought it was awesome. I'm gonna give, I gave the green jersey 10 out of 10. I'm gonna give this uh, last one a 10 out of 10. I think they're about the same. I wouldn't mind if one day they went back to North Stars colors. I get that's technically the Dallas Stars, but come on, it's Minnesota. If they went back to North Stars colors and they just made these their normal jerseys, I think those would sell like crazy. Those would be, but I think this one's gonna, I, uh, the, the, the last Minnesota reverse retro was a home run. I think this one is gonna sell really well too. Canadians, um, it's just kind of a light blue version of the last one they wore. It's decently made and I like the design, but it's literally just the light version of what you wore last time. 
And we're going with creativity here. I gotta get, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. It's not fantastic. I think there's certainly a lot you could have done with this, and they didn't. I don't get it. Just, it's not bad. It's not awful. But, man, they could have done so much more. I get that their colors have kind of stayed the same, and they've kind of had the same logo, but come on. Come up with something better. Next one. The Predators. It kind of feels like a throwback clone, like kind of just a clone of their old throwback jersey. I get a lot of Preds fans like it, but we've seen this jersey before. In fact, they literally did a yellow jersey with the last reverse retro they did, which was, I thought, one of the better ones. I liked that design. As for this one, the logo's fine and all, but it feels like a throwback clone. There's not much that stands out about it. It looks so similar to the last one. I gave it a 5 out of 10. Because you got... I'm giving mean, out grades not just on how the jersey looks, but how creative it is. This is reverse retro. This is the time to do something fun and cool. Because you're only going to wear these one year. And I, I feel like they could have done more. They really did it. Just feels like a throwback clone. Next jersey. The New Jersey Devils. Well, if you wanted a Rockies jersey or a Kansas City Scouts jersey, they're kind of, they're, they're the same. You got it here with the New Jersey Devils. I like it, personally. I think it's a really nice looking design. Uh, again, someone throwing up with their current look. Um, the last one they did was a throwback to the green and the red, though they went with a much lighter green than the one they used back then, which is more of a darker green, so people called it the Christmas jersey. Um, which was funny because that year they didn't play during Christmas, but whatever. Uh, I personally like the new ones a little bit better. I think those colors mesh better. I like the new designs compared to what they are. I uh, like the history homage. Um, I gave them an 8 out of 10. I do think these are better than the green ones because the green ones did look a little similar to the ones that they wear currently. It's just kind of like a color swap. You just took your normal jersey, but instead of black, you threw on green. At least with this one, it feels like a new, unique design. So, props for that. 8 out of 10. The Rangers. Um, kind of the similar things I said about the Canadians. It feels like a lighter jersey of the dark navy uh, Li Lady Liberty jersey they wore the last round of reverse retros, but it's still very well designed. And unlike the Habs, I think the colors pop a lot more. I do like this compared to, I do like, if you're going to do a lighter version, I think this is better than what Montreal threw out. I gave this one a 7 out of 10. I think it's just a lighter version, but I really like the last version. I do think the, the dark blue fits better with the old one compared to the new one, but still, 7 out of 10. If I were a Ranger fan, I'd buy it. Islanders, anything can be better than what they threw out last time. Because what they threw out last time was not reverse retro, it was only just a dark blue version of their normal home jersey. This one, yes, they went with the Fisherman design, just like we all asked. We all asked for the Fisherman, they brought the Fisherman back. And with their new colors, I think that blends beautifully. I love the striping, even the cult, the number and the font match with it. This was a 9 out of 10. I love this jersey, and I think this is what they should have done last time. Or at least do the Fisherman colors with your current look. Something better than what they did with the previous ones. They did it with this one. Home run. The Ottawa Senators. Um, a lot of people really like this jersey. And the problem is it looks way too similar to their current jersey, their home jersey. I know the striping is a little bit different, and I like that, but the font numbers are okay, but it just looks like another alternate jersey. This was kind of the complaint that people had in the last round when they did that big bright red jersey, which I really liked, but the problem was they were going back to the old logo and jersey designs that year anyway. They announced they were going back to that old logo for their, for their permanent logo, and they went back to the old black and white alternate uniforms. They went back to those. And the red jersey was just kind of seen more of a third alternate than reverse retro, though it technically counts. This one, it feels a little too close to the home jersey. I think it's nicely made, but doesn't stand out that much. If it weren't for the weird stripe in the numbers, it really wouldn't strike me as reverse retro, seeing as how it's just the current, oh, really close to the current design. 5 out of 10. I know a lot of Sens fans like it, but I wanted something really unique to stand out. And I just, it, it didn't feel like this one for me. Next one. Philadelphia. Um, I actually really like this jersey. It does feel close to the white version of what they did last time, but I liked what they did last time. I think this one looks all right. I like the crisp look. I think the white meshes really well. The black and orange stuff on the sleeves looks beautiful. 
Um, and, and I gave this one, I think it's a 9 out of 10 jersey. I actually really like it. I think the design is beautiful. Um, again, I'm a big, I don't mind you doing just a white or a home version of what you did last time if the design works well enough. And in this case, I think it does. Pittsburgh! Um, I like that logo. But again, I feel like we're doing another throwback clone with some tweaks to it. Um, I know it's not exactly just the throwback to this weird uh, Robo Penguin, as one of my friends called it, the Robo Penguin design. But, I mean, it just feels like another throwback clone. I gave it a 6 out of 10. I'm like, it, it's nicely designed. It looks good. The colors mesh. It just, again, it looks like the same jersey you did last time. And as for the, the last one they did, which was the white one with the Pittsburgh across the font, I do like this one better. I didn't mind the Pittsburgh one. But it just feels like they really could have done more here. Just, eh. It's just meh. The San Jose Sharks! Um, I loved the last reverse retro they did. I thought that was wonderful. As for this one, I really like it. Um, so for those who don't know, the last team to play in that area before the Sharks came along was the California Seals, or the California Golden Seals, as they would later uh, come to be known. And there was a huge controversy there. Uh, they ended up moving to Cleveland to become the Barons, and the Barons uh, end up contracting, uh, and the Cleveland deal fell through. And then the Sharks kind of are resurrected. The Seals are resurrected kind of as the San Jose Sharks. They get to play in the same facilities. They play in the Seals' old stadium. Uh, and it was the, and they end up becoming an expansion team. And now I guess they're going back to that. They're doing a Seals design here in this jersey. And I really liked it. I was hoping they'd do something like this. Though I didn't know if it was going to be a shark update, but with the Seals look. Here they gave us uh, kind of just the Seals jersey, but with some little shark tweaks. And I like it, personally. Um, I do think that it's just as good as the last one they did. I gave them, I'll give them both 10 out of 10s here. Um, I do think that these reverse retros are very nice. And if you know your hockey and you're a big shark fan, I think this is a must buy. The Kraken! Okay, so some people were expecting them to go to the Metropolitan's jersey. You know, that really weird, almost looks like a pajama shirt kind of, or a Christmas sweater kind of design. I would have liked that personally, a Metropolitan update with um, Kraken colors, or even a Kraken jersey, but with the Metropolitan look. I think that would have been really nice. That said, I like this idea. I've been wanting the Kraken to do a teal jersey, and I hope at one point they can tweak this a little bit and keep it as a third jersey. I think it's nicely made, nicely designed. Um, I would have preferred something a little more retro, but as far as a team that's only existed for two years, this works fine. I like it, eight out of 10. The Blues. <laughs> um, I really liked the red reverse retro they did. I thought that was really good. As for this one, that's all right. I like it. Um, I gave it an 8 out of 10. I do think that crest is certainly unique. <laughs> it's a little weird. But they're going with an old, old jersey, which this is a first retro after all. Um, and I do like it fine. I like that. I think that design works really well. Uh, I think I like, I think the yellow could be toned down a little bit. But hey, if you're a Blues fan, you're probably going to like it. That Tampa Bay Lightning. Another personal favorite of mine. A busy design but a cool design. I just love how cool the jersey looks. I love the font and the logos. Um, it is hard to beat the last ones they did because those last ones were clean. Oh boy, I'm gonna give the new Lightning jersey a 10 out of 10, but it's hard to choose between this one and the old one because this jersey is so beautifully made. Uh, if I'm a Lightning fan, I'm pre-ordering it now. I'm getting my hands on these because I think these will sell out pretty quick. Well done, Lightning. The Toronto Maple Leafs. Um, I like this new, this uh, old reverse retro. I like the new reverse retro. I think it looks really nice. I think it matches the history of the Leafs well. I mean, they've only worn blue and white throughout their entire history, and the logo deviates a little bit, but I think they chose nicely with the current, uh, with this logo choice, because it does look somewhat similar to the one they wear now, but it's an old logo. I think it works well. I think it is light years better than the last one they did. 
I got nothing against the blue and the gray. I just don't think it works great. So I think this one, I gave this one a, a 8 out of 10. Good design. I like the logo choice. Much better than the old one. The Canucks. So they have a vast array of logos at their disposal. Um, the, I probably knew they weren't going to do the skate one because they have that alternate already and they have more than a few nights a year where they wear the skate logo and that's a popular jersey amongst many. Um, I didn't think they were going to do Flying V. I didn't think they were going to bring that back. Um, but obviously they have uh, Johnny Canuck, the guy they use now as the Abbotsford Canucks logo. They have uh, the head of Johnny Canuck with the V coming down. They have a lot of different ones they could do. Last time they did a throwback to the blue and navy, to the red and navy gradient look that they had. Um, with that blue and green gradient, which I personally really liked that jersey. I thought that was a good jersey. As for Johnny Canuck, it's alright-ish. I think it's a little bland, and I know Canuck fans might like it, but I think it's a pretty bland design. I gave this one a 5 out of 10. I think it's just kind of meh. Uh, I get fans who do like it, but nah, this one's not doing it for me. The Capitals, Washington Capitals. I love the last one they did. The red with the Screaming Eagle updates looks great. This one? Yay, another throwback clone. I get it's a throwback to the one where they had the Capitol building as their main logo, and now it's just replaced with the Screaming Eagle, but we've seen this before. It's just... Okay, I would have preferred if like they did the current stuff with this logo up color update. I think that would look pretty nice. Like you do the current Eagle that has like the Capitol logo, under it, uh, worked in. I think that would have been fantastic. But other than that, just yay, another throwback clone. Six out of ten. The Jets. This is as clean and crisp a white reverse retro as I've seen. This, I think, looks beautiful, fantastic. And if you've ever watched a Jets game or been to a Jets game, Winnipeg loves that white outlook especially during the playoffs. And these are first retros in a whiteout look game. Whew, those are gonna look so nice. I think this is leagues better than the blue and the gray. And I actually liked the blue and gray jerseys fine, but these ones are a 10 out of 10 home run. I love these jerseys. Well done. And finally, to cap off our journey, the Vegas Golden Knights. Um, so they did Vegas, the text diagonal on the chest. I like it fine. I think it's actually well made. I like the striping. I think the red was a nice choice in between the gold. I like the fonts that they chose. I think it matches well 9 out of 10. But I still think the red one they did, kind of a throwback to the Las Vegas Thunder, that's a superior jersey. I think the red should be used as a third alternate jer jersey because I think the red is so well done. I think these Vegas ones are very well made. I like the new reverse retros for Vegas, but I do think the old ones are superior. And that's my opinion. So that is it. That is my opinion on every reverse retro jersey done this year compared to the old ones. Um, I liked a good majority of these, as you could tell. I liked a lot of these jerseys. Um... <laughs> Uh, some of them I really do not like. Like, if you're asking which ones I really hate, the only ones I hate are Chicago and Detroit. I think those are pretty lame designs. The ones I love, like Tampa, Florida's my favorite one, but Winnipeg, I really liked some of the new updates that a lot of teams did. Anaheim is pretty good. I like the Coyote one. The Bears was, the Bruins was fantastic. Uh, obviously, I like the Avalanche one, but I liked a good majority of these reverse retros. I think a lot of these did hit it out of the park. Anyways, that is just my opinion. Um, and I will do something similar when the NBA introduces the new City Edition jerseys. Um, just be sure, so be on the lookout for that, but I will have more content like this coming out, guys. Let me know what you thought of your reverse, of your team's reverse retro, which ones you like the best. This is all just my weird opinion as some dude who lives in Colorado. Anyways, that's it for me, guys. I'll see you all next time. And uh, have a good one.